putting on nail forms is an absolute necessity to doing enhancements. For the beginner, this can be somewhat challenging. I know it can look easy, but there are a few tips and tricks that you need to know to successfully put on nail forms every single time. Let's go to school. Talk about nail forms. What do you need to know to get nail forms on successfully every single time? I remember when I was in school and my instructor was trying to teach me how to put forms on. At the time, I was taught, I was taught to roll the form, roll the form, roll the form until you got this natural C curve. And then what I was taught to do was to actually, in the beginning, and, and again, this is not the correct way, I was taught that you had to slide, slide, slide until it got underneath, just like this, and then secure not only this part, but this part up here. So the problem with this technique is that it not only takes too long, it's inconsistent. Mel has actually some decent nail beds, but the, the, if you have somebody who has extreme C curve or they don't have the corners to get underneath, it becomes an absolute nightmare. So what I wanna show you is how to simplify things. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this. I'm going to place the tab underneath so it's all sticky underneath. It gives you support. Oh. When, you, when you actually press down, it gives you a lot of support on the form. That way it's stiff. I'm right-handed, so with my left hand, I'm gonna hold the form here, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my right hand, and I'm just going to pinch the whole front end. This is great for beginners. Pinch at an angle, and then that way the whole front end, as you can see, is completely pinched. Don't worry about keeping space or anything. If there's a little bit of space, not a big deal. But you want to be able to have, and you can see, a nice, nice shape. Okay? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open it up just like this. You see the two handles, the two arms? What I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get the center of my nail form right here, right? Flush with the center of her nail, tight underneath the front. Don't worry about the corners. So how you're going to do this, because I already have it in this shape right here, watch this. All I have to do is just get underneath. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. Just like this. Do you see I'm really focusing on the middle. Once I have it touching underneath, I'm gonna secure the side, just like this. And then I'm going to release my hands, and as soon as I release my hands, as you can see, look at the form, how tight it is. Look how tight it is underneath the free edge. That's what we want to be able to do. Not everyone's nails are going to look like this. You're gonna have nail biters, or you're gonna have someone who has skin that is like bulging at the sides. I'm gonna show you another trick that's going to help you with most problem nails. If I take my form, see this tab? And I cut the tab just like this, so it's square, okay? And then I'm going to place the tab just like this. You see that? Yes. So that it's a nice little square free edge, okay? I'm gonna do the same exact thing. I'm going to pinch just like this on the front. I'm gonna open up the arms and I'm gonna focus all my attention right here in the middle. So watch this. I can guide my form, do you see this? As soon as I am touching, look at that. You see how it's like resting underneath her whole free edge? I want you to look at the side of the nail right here. I can almost do it with one hand. I could bring it in. Do you see how it's touching the side? Do you see that? How it's like resting underneath? As soon as I get it resting underneath, all I gotta do is secure the side and the form is on. Is the form all the way in, like touching your skin? No, or it's it just, is, just it's, under it's just the nail? underneath the nail resting. You see how there's a little bit of space right here? Yes, I do. That is not gonna make any difference at all. And the reason why is when you're holding the finger down at this angle to sculpt product, right? When you're holding the finger down at this angle to sculpt, 
You see the growth channel right here? Mm -hmm. If the product can run down the growth channel and onto the form, look, there's no interference. You see that? You see how I run down and it runs right onto the form? Smooth. There's yes. no interference, right? The problem is when you try to focus on getting into the corner, sometimes the form will pop and it'll leave space and product will get underneath. If you focus all your attention right here in the front and secure your forms from the sides underneath, take a look. I'm securing it here. I'm not securing it here. You could leave this wide open. It does not matter as long as it's secure to the side. And, and honestly, our nail forms are so redonkulous. When you actually get it onto the skin, I'm gonna show you guys something totally hilarious, but literally, I can sit here and shake my hand as hard as I want, and the form's not gonna go anywhere. Do not worry about securing the top. Do not worry about securing the top. Our forms are sticky enough so that you don't have to worry about that. You can put all 10 of them on and it'll prevent your customer from texting on her phone while you're working on her.